Hi everyone, just come to share another journal with you. Um, started this last week and I was actually working on this when I cut my hand so I couldn't do anything on it for a few days but I've managed to finish it today. It was more or less finished, it was just, um, I was just worried about using my hand which it's absolutely fine now so I'm back to normal. I thought it would have taken quite a bit before I could use my hand but my body's healing quicker than I think that it, well, thought it would have. Um, this was inspired, um, well I've got a few journals that I've made myself using like envelopes and um, using the um, re-inkers to, to cover it to give it that kind of leather look. Um, I've also received journals. Um, one of the last ones that I received was from N Narissa Bailey and she'd made me an awesome journal with the same kind of effect. Um, but last week I'd watched a journal by um, Paula Lemon and she well she, I think she's done a few now <clears throat> and they're just really nice they look um, they look rich and um, and they're great just to throw inside your bag because they're a great size um, this one has two signatures there is not a lot of um, like seam binding and lace and things like that going on in it because it is a strictly well not strictly but it was kind of aimed at for general journaling this measures three and three quarters of an inch by, oh, just five and one eighth of an inch. Um, I've done all the re -ink, the using the reinkers to cover it, like I said, mod podged it, cover it covered it with this um, image, which is from Marion Smith, and I just backed that onto some uh, dictionary page. These words here are from uh, one of Marion Smith's digital kits as well <clears throat> and I just used that on there seam binding um, wrapped around a few times can be taken taken off doesn't have to be kept on it just comes off like so and there's a lot of it so there's lots of room for um, expansion um, I've left the both inside covers plain I've I normally stick this down but I didn't on this one and this actually comes up so you can put things inside there so that's a, a nice pocket to add things and in here I've just made a tuck spot so you can put things inside there as well the chicken I'm in frame uh, this is Marion Smith as well there was a few sheets of that in my stash so I thought I'd use it up I tried to use up um, <clears throat> like papers that I've got without actually running off another digital kit um, these are from Tsunami Rose. Just absolutely love the ephemera pieces that she's got. Because um, I was stuck sometimes about what to put in pockets and tuck spots. Um, and there's only so many tags that you want to make. <laughs> um, here is another um, kind of tuck there. And I have, like I said, I haven't added any seam binding or eyelash trim to the tags. This is my new stamp that I got. Um, there is plenty of places to journal. <clears throat> Here is a um, a three tuck pocket using a paper bag, and this is one of the little dies that I got yesterday, um, and that, the, the little flower punch, which is that one. And anyone in the UK, um, if you've got a hobby craft pop along they've actually got <clears throat> quite a good sale on at the moment this was like two pound and uh, this big one here the butterfly was five pound so bargain um got lots of stamp sets on sale as well <clears throat> here i've done the three pocket um thing i like that that's one of my new things of doing <clears throat> here we've got a tuck and some ta a tag and some a journaling card and that flips up here is just like a, a short page um, and this is just a pocket and got a butterfly on here with one of the dies I'll show you the dies actually <clears throat> and there's that one and that one and they were two for four pound from that was yeah that was from Hobbycraft as well and I think they're actually doing them in the range as well at the same price just some gridded paper, it's been stamped, another tag, <clears throat> a 
side pockets, some more journaling cards. This is an envelope and I just done some stamping um, on the envelope and just tried to make sure when I stamped on the tag that you could see it through the window. Which I'm not always having problems putting that in. There we go. So that goes in there like so and it says everything beautiful has its moment. A little butterfly there. Some more um, altered envelopes. This is a, an envelope here and it's a tuck and I've left it open so that you can tuck things in behind as well. Actually this isn't an envelope, this was um, some coffee dyed paper that actually looked a bit weird and I thought <clears throat> I'm still going to use it so I made a pocket with that. This is my side tuck envelope. And that's the first signature. Here we've got the three pockets with the tags and I've just done a little bit of stamping on all of the tags. And this flips up. Another tag. And that's the die with the flower punch. And this is a pocket here. This is a large pocket and it's not actually opened there um, I kind of got carried away and glued, glued all around it so that goes in there a side tuck um, this will be listed on my Etsy Another altered envelope. More tuck spots and tags. Another little tuck there. And the back is like so. And I was just trying to use up what I had rather than um, the only things that I did to actually print off were um, these um, journaling cards from Tsunami Rose. <clears throat> um, oops. It's only because I really didn't want to make any more tags. <laughs> um, but I do like them. They're great. If I don't have to make tags, then super. And that 